by our forecast from the Valley News Live Storm Team. Thanks for staying with us and partly to mostly cloudy skies at this hour here in the Fargo Moorhead area. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. You can see lots of cloud cover out there every now and then, just a, a peak or two of sunshine. That'll be the trend as we head through much of the afternoon. 68 degrees right now, winds out of the northwest at 12 miles per hour. We're going to see some breezy conditions today. Those winds out of the northwest, anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour for the most part, with some stronger gusts from time to time. 59, Roseau. 68 in Bemidji, 70 in Wadena and Fergus Falls, and 75 warm degrees down in the Sisseton area. Got lots of cloud cover out there, especially along and east of the valley. And that's where the best chance for some showers and thunderstorms will be as we head through the day today. And we're already seeing a few showers beginning to pop up. Not seeing any lightning yet, but we will see that chance for some showers and thunderstorms, the strongest ones possible in our far eastern counties. We'll show you that on the graphically here in just a few minutes. Across the northern plains, some showers and thunderstorms making their way through northern Minnesota. Stronger weather, some strong severe thunderstorms over parts of the uh, th southern Great Lakes. And that's where the best chance for severe weather is today. The southern Great Lakes today, they could see quite an outbreak of tornadoes possible in parts of southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and even parts of northern Indiana and southwestern Michigan later today behind this initial wave of storms. For us, we've got that chance for some showers and thunderstorms today. Not going to be as warm as yesterday. Most areas getting up into the 70s, maybe hanging on to the 60s up north and that chance for showers and storms later on this afternoon and this evening. And that will push off towards the east tonight. We're going to see some mostly clear skies, some mild temperatures out there and cool in some spots. We'll be dropping down into the 50s in most locations, some low 50s, maybe even some upper 40s across the far north. So a little chillier up there tomorrow. It looks like mainly dry. We may see an isolated shower late in the day with the heating of the day, but most of us will stay dry. A touch warmer tomorrow and a little bit more humid as well. The temperatures warming well into the 70s and low 80s by tomorrow evening, cooling back down into the 60s and 70s. I mentioned that risk for some severe weather, just a marginal risk for our far southeastern counties. Elsewhere in that light green, that's just a chance for some general thunderstorms. So the marginal risk there and then the slight risk points further east, the better chance for severe weather, as I mentioned, well to the south and southeast over parts of the Great Lakes. For us today, good chance for those showers and thunderstorms. We're already seeing some showers popping up on the radar tomorrow. A break in the action, maybe an isolated shower, especially up north. Another chance for some showers and storms on Wednesday. One or two of those could be on the strong side. And then another break in the action. And then more showers and storms possible Friday and Saturday. Right now, does not look like a high chance, but it's that time of year that any storms that do form could be on the strong side. You want to keep it tuned to the latest forecast. Some warm temperatures, 70s and 80s throughout the next seven days. All right, Robert, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.